India today bringing you all sides of the story and amid gory war scenes that can be seen coming in from Ukraine, these are the top defining images. Let's begin one by one. The image on top is of the fighting that is raging on northwest of Kyiv on 17th day between Ukraine and Russia. This video clip, take a look closely, shows a Ukrainian air base near the Vazilkev town in the Kyiv region being gutted in fire after it was attacked by a Russian rocket. But it is non-stop shelling that continues by Russian forces in Ukraine. This scary visual is from the Ukrainian city of Mykolaiv. Constant rocket shelling on the suburb of the city, which means residential buildings and private facilities are being hit. This is the city of Dnipro, central Ukraine city, where the visuals show aftermath of the Russian strike, devastation, debris, fire and explosions and blackened buildings in rubble. Amid severe damage to these buildings, firefighters trying to carry out relief work. But there has been a use of attack drones. Explosions have rocked Kyiv's neighborhood in Podel, as a result of which the spare bank's premises has also caught fire. This is the town of Volnovaka in eastern Ukraine. This drone footage, take a look, captures the intensity of destruction. Battered buildings, blackened in ruins. A ghost town now, which was a bustling city just a few days ago. In this defining image number six, braving assaults by Russian forces, Ukrainian officials are alleging that the mayor of Melitopol city, Ivan Fedorov, has been kidnapped after he refused to cooperate with the Russian military occupying the city. President Zelensky is saying this kidnapping is a war crime against democracy. But in turn, thousands of demonstrators and residents of Melitopol are marching to the administration building. Protesters are demanding the release of Mayor Ivan Fedorov. The occupiers are trying to prevent residents from coordinating. This is the aftermath of the attacks in Ukraine. Cities are deserted. Devastating conditions that can be seen. This visual is of intense shelling. A plume of smoke at a courtyard at a residential building in the Ukrainian city of Nikolev. One by one, Ukrainian cities are turning into a pile of wrecked buildings, debris, rubble, as Russian military is unleashing unabated violence. This visual is of, of soldiers, we are being told, but in civil clothes who are planning to blow up military and civilian facilities in Kharkiv being detained. Weapons, explosives are being recovered. The impact borne by the civilians. Thousands of Ukrainian civilians in this image are boarding trains from the worst affected areas as evacuation operation from Lviv continues. These images reflect the horrifying fallout even as Ukrainians' border are flooded already with stuck Ukrainians with nowhere to go. This is the scary aftermath of the heavy bombing in the town of Barishivka, just 50 kilometers east of Kyiv. Destruction all around as Russia's aggression turns fierce. This visual is of a destroyed village. This is Kharkiv's Yatsovoka region showing the extent of destruction. Take a look at this. Completely burnt homes, buildings on your screen reflecting of what Ukrainian cities look like right now. Our image number 13 comes as a result of shelling by the Russian troops of frozen food storage warehouse also caught fire in the Brovery district. This image on your screen from the Brovery area, which is very close to capital city Kyiv, but thankfully no casualty has been reported as per preliminary data. 
Ukrainians are uniting to shield their country in full force. Civilians geared up, war is intensifying, and so they have taken up arms, ammunition, trying to get training to launch a possible counter against Russia. Ukrainians are refusing to bow down, even as Russia ups its offensive. So this means that the Ukrainian soldiers and civilians have decided to keep the fight on. This is a visual of doctors treating war injuries sustained by Ukrainian soldiers and civilians. Despite the stress, remember already, and exhaustion, one soldier was adamant that the Ukraine army will win. <laughs> But time is of essence and with each passing hour, the battle lines are getting closer. This visual shows Ukrainian military fighting Russian forces in a village near Kyiv. Ukrainian soldiers are advancing, coordinating the operation while under heavy gunfire that can be heard in the background. Right now on your screen is the footage from the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. Remember that was captured by the Russian soldiers just a few days ago is now as a military base. Ukraine ministry has published this video with Russian military equipment on the site in front of the nuclear plant. Toddlers to elderly, they are facing the brunt of this war. Hundreds of civilians forced to take shelter in metro stations and underground subways in Kharkiv. This second largest city is under relentless bombardment from the Russian forces and for now has suffered some of the heaviest shelling. From Kharkiv now to another Ukrainian city of Volnovaka, look at the destruction. Absolutely a ghost town after the relentless attack. The city has reportedly been captured by Russia-backed separatists. Seventeen days on, shelling and bombing continues in Ukraine. Residential homes, high-rise buildings can be seen gutted clearly in Ukraine city of Mariupol. But there are anti-war demonstrations breaking out in Georgia's capital city of Tbilisi. Protesters can be seen sloganeering along with carrying a flag of Ukraine near the Russian embassy. The Italian finance police seized a super yacht belonging to the Russian oligarch Andrei Gorvich Melenchenko. The 143-meter sailing yacht worth 530 million euros has been sequestered at the northern port in Italy. This comes after several Russian businessmen were placed on the European Union sanctions list. But the human cost of war, prolonged hugs, Teary-eyed family members welcome evacuees from war-torn Ukraine. Indian national Ranish, who was evacuated from Ukraine, Sumi, the hotbed of Russian invasion, felt overwhelmed as he returned to his native town of Kochi with his family. This video has been released by Russia's Defense Ministry, showing Russia special forces carrying out patrol raids in Ukraine's Chernihiv region on patrol routes used by the Ukrainian armed forces. And our final image, defining image number 25, as tributes pour in from all over the world for Ukrainians reeling under Russian aggression, singer-songwriter Tob Odell sat at his keyboard at the Romanian capital Bucharest's main railway station. He played out his hit song, Another Love, in tribute for the Ukrainians.